Have you ever said to yourself, I wish I could play a game of columns while having to keep the beat of a song? Well, if you have, then Groovin' Blocks is your game. This is a re-release of an old WiiWare title. And while the songs are okay to listen to, I wish they had come up with a few better ones. I am not a fan of electronic musical songs, but to be fair, they weren't that bad. Just okay. The game is played like this. You have to match up three or more of the same color gems to make them disappear. However, the twist is that you get more points by dropping them to the beat of the music. You see the beats as lines off to your left or right. The more you drop to the beat, the more your point multiplier will increase in time. Now the only way to lose the multiplier is if you miss the beat or you let the gems fall to the board on its own. Occasionally a super beat will show up and if you hit it to the beat it will give you an automatic increase in the multiplier points until you miss a beat again. The goal of the game isn't to clear the board but to keep playing until the song ends. If you reach the top before the song ends you'll have to do the whole song over again. There are also power ups that will increase your points or will help you in clearing the board. The only way that you can get them when they show up is to drop the gems to the beat of the song. If you miss the beat, the power up will just fade away. You earn these power ups by collecting the required star points. In this game, getting a good score is essential for getting new songs. Songs will only be unlocked after you satisfy a certain star point requirement. There are three different kinds of star points to earn. You can acquire them in easy, medium, or hard difficulty levels. When you start the song, they give you a set number of points for each song that you have to meet or get better on to get the star point for your tally. On each level, you can get a total of three star points to add to your total, which means there's three different scores you're trying to beat on each level. There's also a multiplayer option in this game as well. It has a competition mode or a cooperative mode. In competition, you play side to side with another player, and you see who gets the best score at the end. This was fun, but like all multiplayer versions of puzzle games, I thought it was a bit hard to see, because the board is scaled down so they can have two on the screen at a time. The cooperative mode was the one major thing I didn't like about this game. It was basically unplayable. You both play on the same board and you have your own pieces. You can't move through other people's gem pieces, so often you'd be trapped on one side of the board. It would get so confusing and frustrating, I doubt anyone could find this mode fun for long. Groovin' Blocks was fun for short periods at a time. The music was okay to listen to, plus it was really challenging, and there was a lot of replayability. However, if you're going to get the game, I would just suggest downloading the WiiWare version over the disc version. It's $12 cheaper, and I doubt it's that much different. From what I hear, they just added some new extras to this new version to justify the extra money that you'd have to pay for it. If you can't download it because you don't have internet access, then I still think the game is worth a rent, and maybe a buy.